In this lesson, you're going to learn how to form the future participles. Uh, now, because they're futures, just like the future indicative, we're going to have a different form for the future active, the future middle, and the future passive. The future active and middle will be formed from the second principal part. The future passive, if you remember, is formed from the sixth principal part with some modification. So let's take a look first at the future active. And before we do that, I just want to review the uh, present active participle of Amy. Remember the own usa on is a first and third uh, declension adjective where the masculine is a third declension whose stem is ont. The feminine is a first declension whose stem is us. And the neuter is a third declension, again, whose stem is ont, just like the masculine. And the reason I'm having you think about that future active participle of Amy again, on, usa, on, is because in order to form the, pre uh, the future active participle, all we're going to do is take that on, usa, on, and attach it to the future stem. So you'll notice this is very much like the present active participle, but with a sigma. So luson, lusontos, lusonti, lusontes, lusonton, lususi, lusontes. Very much like your present active participle. And your feminine is the same way. Lususa, lususes, lususe, lususan, lususai, lususon, that should be... Lususais, no theta, eta in there, same thing here, lususas, that's a typo, so those would be lus, future stem, and our form of uh, the participle of amy, lususais, and lususas, so future stem, participle of amy. Very easy to do. The nice thing is, contract verbs, remember, have a future stem that doesn't contract. So you're dealing with the same exact uh, form for whether it's nikao or de lao or any of those contract verbs. Future middle participle, very similar to the present middle participle. Only this time we're going to use the future stem. So future stem, loose, plus our omicron, plus men, plus our first and second declension endings, os. Usomenos, usomene, and that's an error right there. It also is an error. I've um, got a couple of extra letters in there. But that's the basic uh, ending there. So for the neuter there, it should be future stem, loose, omicron, men, and then our ending on, usomenon. And in the neuter, uh, or in the genitive, loose, omicron, men, and ooh. So very easy to decline the future middle participles. As long as you remember, you've got your future stem, your omicron, your men, and your ending. In fact, they're very easy to recognize because you're always going to see that men plus an ending. Anytime you see menos, mene, menon, and so on, you know you're dealing with a middle uh, participle. Possibly a passive participle over the present tense. Now, let's take a look at the future passive. This is a little more complicated. And it's more complicated because you have to form the present, or the future passive stem. So remember, it's the sixth principal part. So of luo, it would be, it was a luthane. And to form the future stem, future passive stem, we dropped off the epsilon, we kept the eta, and we added a sigma. So luthes was our stem. And then we go on and form the participle just as we did with the middle. Omicron, men, and ending. Luthesomenos. So luthesomenos, luthesomene, luthesomene and so on. And our endings are going to change because this is just a first, second declension participle. 
So one thing to keep in mind is middle passive participles will always have this ominous ending. The only thing that is going to differ is going to be what stem you add it to.